Yo, what is up squad? It's your boy Pino E here. Today was another slow day, but we're going to start this video off with fuckery of the highest degree, and it involves Under Armour and a company by the name of Uncle Martian. Right off the hop, you know where this is going, because hell, these guys straight ripped off the Under Armour logo, and it's probably the worst logo they could have ripped off. I don't know why they didn't go for Adidas or Nike or even, hell, something crazy like make their own. And when they were originally confronted, they said they have nothing to do with Under Armour and are building their own brand. Now, if by building their own brand, they meant that they're going to take a picture of the Under Armour Curry 2 and Photoshop their logo on it, I guess I see where they're coming from. But... But then again, I get confused because when I look at the toe of the shoe and I see they forgot to airbrush the SC logo from the pair, I don't know what they're doing. So of course, Under Armour sued them for $15 million back in June of 2016. And just today, Uncle Martian was ordered to pay 300,000 in damages, publish a statement to eliminate the adverse effects of Uncle Martian's infringement and destroy all infringing products. Of course, Uncle Martian is clearly innocent of these frivolous claims and they're planning to appeal the decision. So stay tuned. Let's move over to Diodora real quick and take a look at the social status Diodora Be Elite X pick. The pairs are handcrafted in Italy, constructed of a hairy suede upper in your choice of beige or maroon with X stitching on the heel and toe as a nod to the collection. Both pairs will drop on August 5th at all social status locations as well as online at the social status website. Over to Adidas, and let's start with a look at the highs and lows Adidas Consortium EQT Support ADV. For this go around, the two dress the shoe in a sand colored prime knit upper featuring leather mud guards and a leather cage, finished with olive three stripe branding and an olive lace lock. The pair releases exclusively at highs and lows locations and on their website on August 19th, followed by a global release on August 26th with a $180 retail price. Moving on, next up we have the Pharrell Adidas Tennis HU Solids Pack. The pack, as it's accurately named, comes in solid colored uppers in your choice of blue, and navy, gold, and scarlet red, sitting on tonal colored outsoles and white accenting on the tongue and heel patch. All four pairs drop on September 8th for $110 each. If you've been subbed to this channel for a while, you know that I'm a Nike fan, but last week when I said a couple bad things about the company, people started tripping out and coming at me on Instagram, which I found kind of funny. Just because you like a brand, a company, an artist doesn't mean you have to dick ride, and you could call them out when something isn't going right. Proving my theory a little bit more, today Adidas released their quarterly report and their growth is not slowing down. For Q2, Adidas saw a sales increase of 19%, bringing them up to $5.97 billion in sales. When combining Reebok and Adidas, the company saw growth everywhere except for Russia, with the largest regions being China, who saw an increase in sales of 28% and North America 26%. When one company sees growth, another will see a decline of very flat numbers, and if Adidas can continue with this momentum, they're going to be catching up to Nike. So yeah, I stand by my comments where they need to stop giving away the dope pairs to their friends and family and celebrities and let us in the action. Wake up, Nike. No news for Nike today, so let's skip right over to Jordan Brand and take a look at some new images of the Air Jordan 8 Cool Grey. I've made my decision I'm passing, not because these aren't dope, I think the Cool Grey colorway looks great on this model, but I just don't like them enough. Very nice looking shoe, and if you're a fan of 8s, these are a must have. They dropped this month on August 26th for $190. And last up for today, we have a look at the Air Jordan 13 GS Wolf Grey. The pair comes dressed in a tonal wolf grey upper featuring white accenting on the Jumpman branding, laces and midsole with deadly pink hits on the outsole. They're okay, they're not bad, they're not great, but they will be available on August 26th for $140, available in extended sizing. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out. Thank you.